Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome back to Freaky Funko Friday. My name is Anthony. Thanks for joining me once again. And today we're going to be doing another unboxing video of Empire Strikes Back Mystery Minis. These are awesome. And this is going to be a part two of the video since we've already done one unboxing. And to recap on the one unboxing that we did, the front two were duplicates. The middle two were duplicates, the back two were duplicates, meaning whatever was here is the same one here. Whatever was here is the same one here. Same thing. Duplicates of each other. Hopefully we don't get the same. Um, but with Mystery Minis, there is always a puzzle, meaning there is always an order that things go in, and it's hopefully with this one we can start solving the puzzle to where the, uh, where the exclusives are at, and maybe where some of the one out of 36s are at versus having to get a whole bunch of the one in sixes. So this is the second box um, as we attempt to figure out the um, the puzzle that Funko creates when they do these mystery minis because there is a puzzle and if you solve it you can spend a lot less money and get the ones that you want. For example, we've already solved the Harry Potter puzzle. The Harry Potter mystery minis, the new ones, we've solved the puzzle. If you haven't seen that, watch my videos. I think I put one, um, I think it was even titled How to Find an uh, Exclusive Mini or something like that. So yesterday at Target, um, and we'll get to the unboxing here in just one second, but yesterday at Target, they had a brand new box of Harry Potter Mystery Minis, but they were the non-exclusive, meaning they were not Hot Topic games, I'm sorry, Hot Topic, they were not Hot Topic, they were not Target exclusives, and they were not Barnes & Noble exclusive. I was at Target. And they were just the regular Mr. Minis non-exclusive. That's the only pack you can get. Rita Skeeter, Mad-Eye Moody, and Dolores Umbridge. The only pack you can get are the non-exclusive Mystery Minis of Harry Potter. But I've already solved, we've solved the Mystery Harry Potter Mystery Minis. So I just picked the front two boxes. I knew out of those two I was definitely going to get somebody. And I sure as hell did. <laughs> I, I finally got Dolores Umbridge. She was, besides the Barnes & Noble exclusives that still have not dropped to this day, um, and if you go to Pop Price Guide and you type in Mystery Mini Harry Potter, you'll see that there's hardly anybody that owns the Empire, I mean, I, Empire Strikes Back, we're getting to that one, Be, hardly anyone that owns the Barnes & Noble ones. And there's a lot of people that want them and hardly anyone that owns them. Why? For whatever reason, Barnes & Nobles are not dropping them in stores, and, and this is... I'm finding out it's not just in my area, it's it's everywhere. So there she is. We've cracked the puzzle to Mystery Minis on Harry Potter. So I finally got Dolores Umbridge. So now, this is not a Harry Potter video, it's a Star Wars video. So now we're going to attempt to continue the process to solving the puzzle of the Mystery Minis for Empire Strikes Back. So this is our second unboxing video. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the front and I'm going to explain to you if you're looking at the box, if I'm looking at the box, what's in front of me. So when I say right or left, I'm talking about if you're at the store and you're looking at the box, what is your right, what is your left at the store looking at the box. So we're going to start the video with right hand side. I'm going to go right, I'm going to do the front right, the front left first, okay? So this is the front right hand side. And let's see if we get the one in sixes. The last box we got had all one in sixes on the top, and they were those, those duplicates. So now we're going to see if if it's... Oh, wow. Both sides are opening up. That's interesting. Okay. So let's check it out. Okay. So the first one I got was R2-D2 on the top right. Okay, so there he is. Now we're going to do the top left. If you're looking at the box on the left hand side. That face means I, it feels like it might be a duplicate. It's not a duplicate. It's not a duplicate. Okay. So we already know. We already know that the tops are not always going to be duplicates. That's going to make it a little bit trickier. But I did get either um, 
Well, you know what? I'll just open it. I think I got Chewbacca, but I could have gotten... Yep. So I ended up getting Chewbacca. A little bobblehead there. Which is what made Funko famous in the first place. Wacky Wobblers. So there you go. Chewbacca. So, awesome. So, this is already different from the last box. Okay? Because we're not getting side-to-side -side duplicates. Which is a... Which is a okay thing but we'll see we'll see how it all works out right so now i'm going to do the right hand side once again and i'm doing the middle right hand side on the top we're doing the top first now this one feels like it's going to be either yoda or r2d2 just based on its size and i'm hoping it's yoda but we'll see and it is yoda it is Yoda. So, the middle right hand side, I ended up getting Yoda. And I'm placing them here on my table, on my desk, the same way I'm opening them. So this is the middle left hand side. Now the problem is this one feels like it's gonna be another Yoda. Just by the weight of it, but we don't know. We'll see. No, it's actually going to be an actual character. So some of these weights are a little interesting. I actually like that. I actually like that they're different. So it's not so easy to guess. Okay, so awesome, man. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so we got... Okay, so we might have... We might have solved a puzzle. Okay, so I ended up getting the Hot Topic exclusive of Han Solo, and here he is right here. Now this is in the top middle left, okay, and he's holding the gun there. This is the Hot Topic exclusive, and this is, because um, I want to get the names right, I finally have the list pulled up. This is from The Empire Strikes Back. This is um, Han Solo Hoth, H-O-T-H. So this is the Hoth version of him. Okay. So he was in the top left-hand side. So last time we found in the middle, we found on the bottom, we found an exclusive. So I wonder... If the bottom, middle, this is the top, top, left-hand side, middle, okay? The exclu I'm sorry. The exclusive was in the top left-hand side, in the middle, okay? So let's see when we get to the bottom if the middle is also going to have the exclusives. If so, I would say focus on just the middle of the Empire Strikes Back boxes, the top and bottom middle. But we'll see. If the middle has it on this one, because it did have it on the other one, I'm going to say I think that's that's the key to the to the exclusives. Now this one's another big one. This one feels like it's, it's it looks like another chewy, but we'll see. Because I think Wampa's a pretty big one too. So, yep. So we got another Chewbacca. This is on the top right hand side, very back. Okay, we got another Chewbacca. So top top far right hand side on the very very back of the box that's on the left on the right hand side of the box if you're looking at it we got another Chewbacca now we're going to do the top left now this one's definitely going to be an R2-D2 or a this one's really light or a Yoda well you know what I'm going to say definitely sometimes and then it ends up being a character so it feels like R2-D2. Okay, so I was right. So we have R2-D2 on the back left top of the box. All right. So here we go. We're doing the second half. So again, we're going to start on the bottom right-hand side. And let's see what we get. I'm anticipating the middle. And these things are stuck in there. I'm anticipating the middle. Is, are going to be the exclusive another exclusive and so the only one I don't have 
is number one in 72 um, right here. I don't have that one from the Hot Topic exclusive. So let's see what we get here. I like solving these puzzles. That's what's so fun about Mr. Minis because you have to spend a lot of money to start getting one. And then once you get them, you can start solving some puzzles. All right. So this is another small one. This is the bottom, very front row, right hand side. And I feel like it's going to be Yoda. Yep. And so I got a second Yoda, which is awesome. Bottom right hand side, first row is Yoda. Okay. This is definitely going to be something a little different. It's too heavy for one of the small ones, so let's see who we got. Yeah. These boxes are opening up very nicely, so I don't have to rip them open. Hope you guys are getting excited, because I am, because I'm trying to solve this BAM puzzle. Okay, so we got. Um, we got Luke's. I mean Luke Skywalker. My apologies. <laughs> uh, we got Han Solo, and I want to make sure I have the list pulled up. So this is Han. No, I was right. Okay, thank you, Lord. <laughs> yes, I thought I was, and I was like, because I, you know, I'm the, I'm still new to these mis these uh, Empire Strikes Back ones. So this is I was right. This is Luke Skywalker, and this is Luke Skywalker Hoth, and he's got his binoculars there. Luke Skywalker Hoth. Um, so that's pretty cool. So he was in the bottom left-hand side, first row. Now, guys, here we go. We're doing the middle. I bet you there's going to be an exclusive there. So we're going to do middle right-hand side. That, okay, I think it's going to be middle left. But we'll see. Middle right-hand side. We might have just solved the puzzle, but we'll see. It's definitely good. There's definitely going to be... I'm, I'm putting money on it, and I, I don't have money to bet you guys because, you know, this is the internet. <laughs> so I would put money that I'm going to find an exclusive on the bottom middle. Ooh, I don't have this one. Ooh, yes. Okay, so we didn't get an exclusive on this one, but the other one is not a, uh, is not a Yoda or a R2-D2. Wow, this is a 1 in 72. I am so pumped. Holy moly. So we got, um, from the Empire Strikes Back, IG-88. Wow. He's a 1 in 72. Well, which one is the front of his head? <laughs> I don't even know what the front of his head... I guess that's because that would probably would be well. You know what? I, I could have sworn the two things are his eyes are in the front. Are these not his eyeballs right here? Aren't those his eyes? Well, anyways, if they are, you can always, with these, you can always twist them around and put them forward. So I'm going to kind of put them forward and put his eyes in the front there. So there we go. He looks pretty awesome. Woo! So he was in the bottom middle. All right, guys. Moment of truth. I am predicting that this is going to be the last box we got, the bottom row, middle, okay, bottom row middle, we did get a Hot Topic exclusive. I'm going to guess right now that the bottom middle is going to be an exclusive. If so, we are in luck. I'm predicting it. I even said I'm willing to put money on it, and I hope... I hope I'm right. If this is not an exclusive, then that means at least in the bottom middle, or at least the top middle, I think it would be safe to say that we're going to get one of the harder ones to find, like a 1 in 72, a 1 in 36, if it's not an exclusive. But here's the moment of truth. It is not an exclusive, guys. Wow. So they are tripping us up here, but I'm still going to say I would definitely go, and by the way, I got Lando. Okay. So I would definitely uh, push and, and definitely say a good bet would be to start with, if you're limited on budget, and believe me, um, 
you know, I buy these things, but I'm not made out of money. I just, you know, I, I'm lucky enough to resell enough to be able to buy more. But here's Lando. This is um, Lando from Cloud City. And he was in the bottom middle. He's a 1 in 24. So still a very uh, difficult one to find. And so we got two more left. And by the filling of them, they're not R2-D2 or Yoda's, which is a good thing. They could be Darth Vader. He is a 1 in 6. So I'm going back row, right hand side. If one of these are an exclusive, then I don't think we've come to solve the puzzle quite yet. But we'll see. Let's see who we got. I'm excited. I got some new characters here that I didn't get on the last box. And I just mentioned his name and all hail the best villain in all of movie history, my opinion. My man, Darth Vader. Man, I'm getting goosebumps. I swear to you, I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm a geek, I know. He's a one in six. I got him on the back row on the bottom, bottom right. I'm a geek with this, guys, but listen, this is another one, and I have a feeling this might be another Darth Vader. I don't know why. Because we haven't had any back-to-back -back exclusives like we did in the first set. So I'm feeling this might be another Darth Vader, but who knows. We'll see. I'm telling you what, I would love for it to be uh, an, another uh, Princess Leia or some other character. Okay, so it is another Darth Vader. Man. I'm getting pretty good at these. Alright. So I got two of my all-time favorite villains with this cape flapping in the back. Um... The way, look at that, just the way it flaps up there. That is so awesome, isn't it? Like it's, oh my God, Darth Vader, you're the man. So, there he is. So in conclusion, I would suggest to stay away from the one and sixes and possibly give yourself a good opportunity because by the way, Yoda was in the one, one and sixes in the top middle, okay? But to stay away from the enormous amount of 1 in 6s that come in a box and get several, several duplicates. For right now, I would say as a collector, it's safe and I it's a safe bet to open up the middle, the top, not to open up, to buy the top two middle, the bottom two middle. I only got one exclusive in this whole box and the one exclusive I got was a 1 in 12. Okay? So, um... That's not very good. But I did get a 1 in 72 where in the bottom middle where I'm telling you guys to buy. I got a 1 in 72 and this guy is so hard to find. There's more people that want them than, than own them. So I don't know how much he's going for because these are so new that they're not even up on Pop Price Guide yet. They are, their pictures are but not their value. But I would assume he's probably going for somewhere around $50 on eBay. Just guessing. So that wraps up the video. Um, again, the middle two on the top, the middle two on the bottom, I would focus on buying those first. If you don't have a lot of money and you, and you want to try to get some of these exclusives, I would start there. And a good strategy is buy the top two, if you find a full box, obviously, right? Buy the top two middle, buy the bottom two middle, but don't mess up all the boxes. Leave everything, you know, leave them the same. Just, just buy those two, leave them the same. Go buy them, go to your car, open them up in your car and see if you found an exclusive. If you didn't and you didn't find what you're looking for, then you're still outside where you can walk back in and purchase more if you want to from that same box. That's what I'm saying. Don't mess things up necessarily because, you know, if there's an order to things that we figure out, you could mess it up for your own self. So, but I would definitely, if you're short on money and you can't afford the whole box, and I know a lot of people don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on these things, um, but I do resell my duplicates, so um, I do get my money back 99% um, of the time. So for me, it's an investment up front, and I get the money later kind of a thing. But, um, but it also helps me as a collector get the entire set. So that's what I would suggest. Um, I think that's where we're going to be moving with this Star Wars series, are going to be the middle top and the middle bottom, both left and right. I think, you're gonna, I think that's a good place to start. Um, to start looking for these exclusives or rare ones like a 1 in 24, a 1 in 36, a 1 in 72, something like that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my part two of uh, Empire Strikes Back. 
uh, mystery mini unboxings. Please be kind to one another, and I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. As always, thank you so much for taking the time of the day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.